of Disgusting Sumash and with Disability Rights UK, who both are hiding behind saying that they're going to make things better by collaborating with Maximus and taking their money. Sumash is on a salary of £75,000 a year as Head of Customer Experience for Maximus. That is cheap. That is cheap considering the millions of pounds of our money which the government plans to save from cutting us off benefits. We know Maximus already. Many of us have had to go to their back to work activities. And as John from Black Triangle said, 32 people a week die while under, who not refuse benefit, they're getting ESA, but they're on forced back to work activity under threat of being sanctioned. And that's why people who are ill, people who are not coping, are struggling to attend these compulsory appointments by Maximus. So Maximus already has blood on its hands and it's well known from the US, in the US, they've had to pay off several states from in America because of Medicaid fraud where they've been fiddling and getting commission for things that they haven't done or people who don't exist. And people in different countries are saying that we don't have to accept austerity. I mean, people in Greece have rejected austerity. People in Spain are against austerity. There's plenty of money to go around, as we know from the super rich, from the multinational profits, from all the money which the 1% is sitting on. That is our money for our survival. You know, people are being killed in hospital through lack of care, in residential homes. Those of us, you know, women pensioners are the most at risk from fuel poverty. So we're out today along with 30 other demonstrations to reject Maximus, to reject the government's welfare cuts and to reject austerity. Hello, uh, I've been forced into the work-related activities with, in Camden. Many a time I've been at my compulsory compulsory mandatory says um, appointments where I've been feeling suicidal in tears and the last time I was there compulsory I'd just come from my counsellors I asked to be in a separate room because when you speak to them there uh, everybody's all around you uh, people have been interviewed everything personal everybody can hear your business and as I was in tears and explained that sorry, I'm really upset on this day because I was having counselling for depression having been caused from uh, child sexual abuse for years and at times feel suicidal. The woman actually said to me, you're not going to like what I'm going to tell you. She says, we're not counsellors here at Maximus. We don't have any counselling skills. Maybe we should do. She said, but you can choose to be a victim. You can choose to be a victim. Now that left me numb for days trying to get my head around that. Made me feel responsible for what happened to me. And since then I haven't been back. And I've been supported by Win Visible. That's an organisation for women with visible and invisible disabilities. Before this I was forced to try and go for a job with absolutely no training, which would involve feeding a woman through the stomach, which freaked me out. It would have done me no justice at all to be forced into this work, and I certainly wouldn't have been any good to the, the other women to try and uh, help them. So I'm going to appeal against them. 
because I know they're going to stop my benefit because I'm not turning up to see this woman for my next appointment. As she established, okay, I can't help work in the uh, health field. Maybe I like animals, she said. Part of my work-related um, agreement is now to phone all the pet shops up and try and get a dog with animals, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, that's me anyway. Thank you for listening. It's uh, Wind Vincible. Okay. It's actually a Deepak demo. Just